Yeah, they were incredible years because they came off the back basically of uh, 2004 when Ford were looking to withdraw from the again from WRC. Um, but to be honest, we found a, a solution that worked for them and worked for us. Um, and then the, the introduction then of the new, you know, developing the new Focus uh, for the 2006 season. Uh, so we were full speed ahead developing the car during 2005. Uh, and then, in all honesty, again, a little bit like we've done even with Seb and everyone, we've done a new car, we've always tried to get you know, a really good driver lineup. Uh, and of course, I think we were, again we were quite lucky. I think Peugeot were withdrawing at the end of that year, so we we had the chance then to sign Marcus. Um, and then of course Miko, we'd been working with Miko since like 2002, and I really felt that he was ready to step into the, the number two seat. Uh, so that turned out to be a, you know a, just an incredible combination. You know we went to Monte Carlo, Marcus won the rally went to Sweden, Marcus won the rally. Um, so we had a great start to 2006. And of course, you know, it was the first championship win for Ford for 20, 27 years. That was the turning point, was Catalonia. You know, his performance on that last stage, uh, he made a very good tyre choice, but he still had to do it. And, uh, and then I just felt that you know, he would be the ideal partner uh, for Marcus and he could learn a lot from him as well um, and yeah and then you know we saw how he evolved throughout the year whereby you know at the end of the season uh, he got his first win in, on Rally Australia when Marcus made a mistake on uh, on the very first stage so um, and then you know that you you just know what that win the confidence that it gives the driver and then you know he followed that up early part of the following year with a win in Norway basically led from start to finish on what was the again a new event again a new event in uh, WRC Marcus and Se Sebastian uh, Loeb at the time I think they almost had the equal amount of wins like you know five or six or seven wins each during the year but you know just lost out and then obviously Marcus um, had the accident in, on Rally Island which was the end of the season as well so, and uh, accident in Japan, I think, so. But at the end of the day, you know, then to have the great results in Finland as well, which has always been, uh, you know, one of my favorites to be able to, you know, we first won it with Marco Hartin in 2003, was it? Um, and then, um, you know, then to, to follow that up with, first with Marcus and then Miko and then Yari Matti, all in the focus, it was, was just great, great times. Marcus uh, decided to retire after Finland in 2007, so almost just over halfway through the season. Um, and of course, it was, it was. I think that what really brought that on was that Marcus felt that he'd actually given everything on that rally, and Miko was literally, I think, seven or nine seconds behind him at the end of the rally. And I think Marcus felt that. You know, with Miko getting another 12 months experience, he would have a much more difficult job to do in Finland. So he actually made the decision because we were in discussion about, you know, him staying with us for 2008. Um, but he just felt that um, it was the right time for him to step down, which was a great shame because I really think that, you know, Marcus could have gone on and uh, had another fantastic season in 2008 because he still, you know, he still had the speed and the experience to be able to do it. But then of course, yeah, we'd been working with Yari for many years, and we, you know, we felt that uh, the time was right. Then, obviously, with with uh, Marcus stepping down to give Yari a chance. Yeah, the bonnet pin went on the jump, but to be honest, uh, the the it, it was a two stages prior to that where we where we really lost the momentum and lost the real pace that he had to be really challenging. So, you know, the damage was done before the bonnet pin, but there's no question, you know, that, that didn't look good either. But uh, no, it was a great shame because Miko, at the end of the day, he did an incredible job uh, over the years, you know, and he's still the guy that's had the, the most amount of wins in a, in a Ford car. He was a great team player, and, you know, to be honest, after our discussion yesterday, I was thinking about, you know, the amount of, you know, we talked about 
the hair dryer treatment for drivers and everything. But to be honest, you know, I, I don't think, in all honesty, that Miko and I ever really had a um, had a crossword. He, he was just um, just a great, true professional, and um, he always gave his best, and um, and he delivered some great results for us. There were great days. I mean, you know, it was just particularly great for me in 2006 in Rally New Zealand, where it all where it all came together, and you know, the fact we had <coughs> Richard Parry Jones there, Yost was there, and obviously, you know, Richard was very instrumental in in uh, in M Sport getting the the contract, uh, and obviously, Yost was pushing a lot as well behind the scenes. To you know, he helped a lot with the new car and everything for the for the 2007 season. So. Um, yeah, absolutely. Just and to win the championship first time for Ford after 27 years was quite quite remarkable. <laughs>